Hey guys, Rick here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to get your desktop to look very crisp, clean, and clear. Firstly, um, this is called Rain Meter, the program right here. This is the bare bones Illustro skin, which I don't find to be very appealing. Some of you may. Uh, that's fine, you can keep it. But today I'm going to show you how to get it like what I had for the Skyrim theme as shown on the site. There are the links to the files we're going to be needing to get this done. I'm going to do a step-by-step -step process on how to get it done. For those of you who are technologically impaired, if you need any additional help, I'm on TeamSpeak or Xfire at your disposal. Firstly, we're going to try and minimize our icons like to the bare minimum. To do this, we're going to first download something called rain meter which I already have an open window you're gonna go click download not the mirror and just save that bad boy to your desktop uh, I'm running Windows 7 so if you're running XP or some other operating system it might may be different for me uh, my icon pops up at the bottom so you're gonna just double click that install rain meter real quick and after that's done this will automatically pop up you don't have to do anything uh, what you're gonna wanna do is get rid of it just completely because it just clutters your whole desktop so what we're gonna do is unload each individual skin all you do is simply slowly except for here you just slowly right click unload right click unload right click unload very simple uh, it won't be very confusing even for first-time rain meter users so now we I have nothing okay what we're gonna do is go to the any site click the second link I have uploaded which will bring you straight to media fire where I took the liberty of uploading the Skyrim files uh, which are just pictures taken from the game uh, you're gonna download that to your desktop and it will be a little green raindrop. You're going to just double click that real quick. Click install. It will install to rain meter. Just open up uh, rain meter afterward and that's what you'll see. What we're going to do is right click on rain meter. We're going to go to skins. Now that it's installed you'll see the Elder Scrolls f uh, 5 Skyrim. Uh, and Alestro was the original one that we got rid of everything. So now this will be a new option for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to just go scroll over to Centaur Clock. And now that's my clock in the middle of the screen. You can move it around if you want. I just centered it. Uh, you're going to right click again, go to Skins, Elder Scroll Skyrim. CPU bar. Right there. I put it there. You can move it around where if you want. You don't have to have it there. Uh, I do because I find it looks very good that way. Uh, you just keep going to each individual one and adding it. Mine, I changed my date and time to the actual game. This is Thursday uh, down here, and this is for December Evening Star. So you're just going to keep going through my hard drive bar. Uh, if you have more than one hard drive, you can click that to get three bars. For me, I just need one. That's for my health. That represents Magicka. You're going to go back, horizontal sidebar, that loaded down. Uh, it's going to probably be dark for you, so you're going to right click on it, click uh, manage and just edit the transparency. Very easy to do. Um, skins again, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, launcher, right here. Now all of my stuff is here. Um, I'll show you how to modify this application bar after we are done putting all of the new skins up. So we're going to go to the RAM bar, click that, there's my RAM. Going to click the next one and my vertical sidebar would be the last. So now it looks all nice, clean and crisp. As I stated before, you don't have to have all of it in this uh, exact setting. You can just move it all around if you want. For this stuff, it'll be different. It'll probably say my documents and Photoshop, all of that other stuff. 
Uh, what you can do though is take your middle mouse wheel, middlely, or just click it down, and this little text pad will open up. Simple coding. Uh, you don't have to do anything, pretty much. All you have to do is find the app path. If you would like to change an application, this is my Rise of Nations one. I'll change it to Halo real quick and show you how. Just delete that. You're going to want to click on, say, if you want to put Halo on your bar here. Right click on the program, Properties. Uh, copy the target. Go back to the thing here and paste the app path. Just take the console off and the brackets and I will rename it Halo. It doesn't matter what you rename it. And uh, file, save, exit. Then you're going to want to right click on any part of the bar there. Refresh skin, now it's Halo. And you just click that and it'll load up. Which it did. Uh, that's pretty much it for that part. Um, if you need help with anything else, like I stated before, TeamSpeak, XFire, and hopefully you enjoy your new desktop. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.